What a pain. I came home from work today and the worm bin was full of dead worms again. I don't know what I did wrong. Um, I did notice that when I came in and pulled the lid, there was some kind of mold growing in there too. Um, it must have some toxic quality to it because, I mean, I poked every a lot of them and they were no movement at all. And I left the heat on. I don't know what I did wrong, but I do know what I did wrong. I bought a worm bin. <laughs> I took the whole thing and dumped it in the dumpster and I will go back to the way I did composting last year, which was the coolest thing. And I read about it in a novel that I was reading called Lights Out. Um, and basically it's about how this uh, group of people in Texas live uh, after an electromagnetic pulse wipes out the electronics. But one thing I picked up in there and then I researched was a tomato, um, I can't remember what they call it, but basically tomatoes have the ability to uh, form roots even on the side of the, uh, of the plant, uh, on the stalks and everything. But basically, if it's like underground, so what I did last year was um, in this little five gallon bucket here, I just filled it like three inches with three inches of dirt and I, I mo modified it so that it's a uh, automatic watering planter so I can hook my automatic watering system up to it. But anyway, in the very bottom down there, there's a little reservoir uh, of water and then in that tube right there, you can uh, pour water in but I have little devices that go down in there that sense the water level and then top it off when it's low. But then I just took the tomato plant and planted it way down in the bottom of the bucket. And uh, then as the year went on or as the summer went on, I would take my kitchen scraps and my uh, broken eggshell because tomatoes need a lot of calcium. And I'd smash them all up and I would like throw them in the freezer and then I would uh, throw them in there and then I would just throw a little dirt on top of it, not much at all, just enough to keep the flies down. And then over the course of the of the summer and the fall, the spring, summer and fall, the, the dirt level went, got higher and higher and the tomato plant just grew like it was nuts. I mean, it was huge and it produced a ton of cherry tomatoes. Um, even though my condo is uh, facing the wrong way for good gardening, um, I'm actually facing west. <laughs> so I get the full benefit of the late afternoon sun right through these freaking uh, uh, glass doors here. <laughs> but luckily I'm on the ground floor, so I hardly even really need air conditioning. So um, Basically, I'll just dump the dirt out of this planter, and I'll use it in, an, uh, in other planters. And then I'll repeat my tomato experiment that I did last year with the compost. And I'll just build, I'll just throw all my kitchen scraps in there. And um, last year, the tomato plant did fine. No sign of mold, no sign of dying. Uh, so it seems to be more dependable than them worms. Darn, I still wish I knew what I did wrong. But I'm not going to waste any more time on it, and I'm just going to stick with what works because this work works quite well. So um, not all experiments um, succeed. <laughs> Got to have a few, uh, a few setbacks to, so that you can finally figure out what works for you. And um, that doesn't work for me. Boy, when them worms died, they started smelling real bad. Uh, well, not super bad, but you could tell there was something wrong. So, I just threw it all in a trash bag and dumped it in the dumpster. And I am not going to spend any more time on it. <laughs> any, if any suggestions what I might have done wrong, but I, I'd like to hear them. But um, I don't think I'll try that again. So, that's it. Um, so I guess I'll close it later. <laughs>